So here we have the replacement crankshaft harmonic balancer pulley and this is the pulley tool you'll be able to pick this up in the auto parts store now when I turn this over I want to place it let's place it here you could take a close look and you see right here there's a rubber between these two rings so that's the rubber that I was talking about that becomes deteriorate and rot and then these two rings will want to clash with each other causing that noise Another important part in installing this pulley is you want to make sure this keyway is fit into the key on the crankshaft. Very important. Sometimes this keyway can become destroyed and the key will not fit in here. And this will cause this dampener to vibrate on the crankshaft. But since this crankshaft is a press fit, you can see look, like right there it gets pressed onto the crankshaft when it's at its final installation point you might get lucky if you have a damaged crankshaft keyway pulley so this is going to be easy for us because i have electric fans on here that i convert onto the vehicle in the video description is another how-to video for in installing replacing the factory clutch fan which is mounted to this water pump you could replace that clutch fan with this electric fan the electric fan will allow the engine to warm up much faster it also free up some horsepower on the engine that increase fuel efficiency so you could look into that. Now, if you have that clutch fan and the shroud here, you're going to have to remove all that stuff with the radiator to get down there for removing that bolt and the pulley. In my case, I don't have to do all of that. So that's another plus for having this electric cooling fan. And big plus for the aluminum radiator, the plastic ones. Will become deteriorated sometimes they leak here where the aluminum core meets the plastic so you might want to invest in one of these aluminum radiator it's approximately two hundred dollars for one you can find it online in the video description i'll have links on all of this you need to pay attention to the video description there's a lot of information in there don't want to redo it now so like i said i have my socket on the bolt with my torque wrench and you can see there's a rope going in to the spark plug hole for holding that piston where it's at restricting the crankshaft from turning and the pulley and then I could turn this bolt right off now I would make these videos so you could see the work in action but it doesn't make sense to do so because when you look at the YouTube views, you say this guy like he's a retard or something like. Why doesn't he get more views? Maybe people don't like what he's doing. Maybe it's not kosher. It's not good. It's not professional mechanic. Well, everybody have their way in doing a work. And I'm sure you do. So you don't really have to listen to me. You could try your own way. So this is the bolt. Now once you get this bolt out, you're going to have to put it back in. Because that is what your pulley tool is going to have to ajar itself to for removing the pulley. Now in the video description you're going to see more. But you just need to bump this pulley off a little bit. And then it's going to come off completely. You don't need to pull all of it off from what I have experienced since I've removed it more times than fingers on my hand. In the process of removing this crankshaft dampener, you could see up in there, during the pulling procedure, a piece of the casting was broke out of that hole. So you have to be careful removing this pulley because it could be frozen in there. That piece of the casting laying right there and the side of the pulley it will be preferably that you heat up this area right here 
with a butane torch to allow the metal to expand and then begin pulling on the tool. See that there? You don't want that. If that is to bust out, you're gonna have to remove the engine from the compartment, take off the oil pan, get that crankshaft out, and then try to remove this pulley. So be careful when you're doing this. That is a piece of the casting that broke off that right there. Broke off from up there. So you can see this is the end of the rope. Nothing remains in there. What I want to do is replace that alternator belt onto the crankshaft pulley without the bolt in the crankshaft pulley. The alternator is going to require to charging the battery because we're going to start the engine and allow it to do what it has to do and see if that crankshaft pulley can break itself loose and start walking forward without the pulley tool. Now we have to remember here the heat from the engine is going to play a role also in removing that pulley breaking up any rust that may be on the snout of the crankshaft. Now we're going to replace this spark plug where we install this rope. So I want to take this rope out of here so you could see that it's in good condition. Let's take a look at a problem that may arise out of removing this crankshaft harmonic balancer from the crankshaft snout. Now this engine is over 200,000 miles and this is the original crankshaft harmonic balancer pulley. When we take a close look at that bolt, this hole right here, what's going to happen is the threads are going to become corroded and when you install your pulley tool you're most likely going to bust that thread out of that hole which will now prevent the pulley from removal. The pulley will become excessively stuck because in this area here where the pulley is fitted to the snout will become corroded. What's going to need to be done is you're going to have to use a larger bolt and you're going to need to tap that hole that has the busted thread with a new tap cutter so you could fit a larger bolt into that hole with the pulley tool. Now you don't have to go with a large bolt like this. You could go to the next size of this bolt by using a thread cutter to fit in that hole like you see here. You don't want to drill that hole out. You just want to tap it. So you want to get a tap cutter that will just cut a new thread into that hole. Let me take a look at this side. We can see this side is still good. What happened here is the thread become rusted and that's what caused it to bust out preventing the pulley from removing so we could see by looking at the snout where it meets the pulley it moved a little bit but not enough for removal so this is a problem that you will encounter while trying to remove that pulley here we have a thread cutter that is of the next size to fit in that hole. So we will now use a tool for turning this cutter and creating a thread inside of that hole. Once that's done, we have to get a bolt and thread of the same size of this cutter and fit it in there with our old bolt for over here using the pulley tool for removing this crankshaft harmonic balancer. So what we're doing here 
it's not necessary because this bolt will most likely bust out of this new threaded hole that we are creating since part of the surface metal has been removed. 